Hello, welcome to my tutorial channel. Today, I'd like to clarify a certain issue that um, um, some of my students have always asked me. And they are always worried about how to merge the items, the individual items, you know, the individual item statements, uh, which form the, the variables, okay? In a Likert scale data set, the combination of these item statements make up the variable. For example, in this case, item statements one to six here make up entrepreneurship education. And so these are the response uh, rating. And so this is strongly agree, this is agree, undecided, disagree, and strongly disagree, okay? So um, supposing that people have already marked this, and so you have them, how do you now merge them to form uh, entrepreneurship education? So in this particular case, I have four variables here. Uh, one is entrepreneurship education. The other one is attitude towards behavior. The other one is uh, perceived behavioral control. And then the other one is entrepreneurial retention. Okay. So in this particular case, what you need to do is uh, head over to, to SPSS. And I've already coded the data set here in SPSS. So this is the data set. And what I need to do now is to, okay. So, so these are the responses. So you can see here um, on the entrepreneurship, education, the item statement one to six. If you come to the SPSS, that will give you item statement one to six, okay. Uh, yeah, I have attitude towards behavior. If you come to SPSS, this is attitude towards behavior one to five, because um, that is what I have here. Uh, item statement one to five. And then perceived behavioral control. So I have perceived behavioral control. Uh, that is one to five. And then I have uh, entrepreneurial intentions, one to item statement one. To four and that is also what i have here so you can see uh entrepreneurial intention item statement one to four and and one thing that you need to do as a student who is working with the likert scale data set is that you need to make sure that all data all item statements are personalized that is quite important because people need to know people need to read through it and then make meaning of it before knowing whether it applies to them okay but that is not the, the study for today the study for today is how can we now merge this into this so we head over to SPSS okay so this is our data set now in the SPSS so what we need to do right now is we head over to compute if if you have already checked the reliability coefficient and all the checks are good okay you may also check my video tutorial on how to check reliability for each of the uh, uh, variables with the item statements okay um you can check other videos that i have on checking reliability crumbers after reliability but that's not what uh, today's lecture is all about. Today's lecture is about how you can compute the variables, how you can merge this into entrepreneurship education variable. So to do that, I will head over to compute variable. I'll go to compute. Now, I'm going to name this entrepreneurship education. Please remember that um, if you put comma here SPSS will not allow that so that is why I have to write that together except you put entrepreneurship underscore education but there's basically no need for that okay so since I already know the name of the variable that I'm working with so the next thing I will do is I'll come here and and I will select statistical okay and then I will drop the mean select the mean drag it and drop it in here and I'm going to remove this so i will select item statement one and i'll press command select item statement two 
press comma, say item statement three, comma, item statement four, comma, item statement five, comma, and item statement six. And then once you are done selecting that, you will see that here will become, if you do the right thing here anyway, you will see that this will be alive for you to, to click OK. And so when you click OK, it creates a new variable for you, okay? To now create that variable entrepreneurship education for you. So let us do that. Great. Okay. So we head over here. So you're going to see the new variable. So you see entrepreneurship education variable has been created. So let us do the next thing. Go over here. Compute variable. The next thing I want to do is attitude towards behaviors. I'm going to have behavior. Okay. And I will delete this. Delete. And then I will select attitude one, comma. Okay. Attitude two, comma. Attitude three, comma. Attitude four and attitude five, okay? When I'm done and then I'll click okay again, I have also created that. Then the next thing is um, um, PC behavioral control. So I'm going to click on control and I will come here. So I want to use, I want to delete this and then I'll insert this and then use comma, please don't forget comma. Two, three, four and five then i'll click ok then i'll compute the last one which is intentions okay then i will also delete then i'll head over here intention number one put comma intention number two i'll put comma intention number three and then intention item statement number four okay and that that's that's there so when i come to spss um to uh to the data view right now so you can see that i have i have now computed the variables so at this point now i can now begin to now run my analysis okay if i want to check for example i want to do a correlation analysis now so this is what these are the variables now so it's no longer it's no longer under um uh the case of strongly agree or disagree like so we don't have to worry about this anymore the responses have been now uh, have now been taken care of by spss you know giving us this data set here okay so if i want to now run a regression analysis or correlation analysis for example i can say by variate and then i can now put all the variables that I want here, okay? And then I can say, uh, I will say, show the mean and standard deviation. And the next thing I want to do is to click OK. So you can see the results, okay? So sometimes you will see some papers with a very high level, uh, very high, uh, very low mean values, okay? And then in most cases, you also see some other papers with mean values very high. And let me show you what those ones do. So what they do is, there are two ways to do this. So is it that you do this? So this reduces the the the, the numbers because you are, now using, you are now converting them using the mean value. Another way to do that is also to hit the transform button and simply calculate them like this. Okay, so if I have intention number one, so I can simply say, um, I can simply come here and put, some people usually do this, it will still give you the same result. The most important thing is that it will still give you the same result. Okay, intention number two plus intention number three plus intention number four. Okay, so that's going to also create another variable here intention so this is intention so this is it intention so you can see that the values are actually higher than what we're having here okay so you can see that these are quite higher than this but that does not also mean anything if i want to do i can use it to also run the correlation analysis let me also compute uh, uh one more let me also compute one more variable say uh entrepreneurship education 
um okay so and so pray new education okay something like that so i will have these plus these plus these plus this plus this and plus this okay oh sorry Not okay. so I want to rename this um, um let's see incorrect variable oh okay 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 so i need to put plus here all right so so the good thing about sps is that it, when you are not when you are making uh, certain mistakes you it will notify you all you need to do is to look at that the, the read the instruction and then be able to understand where the error uh will be coming from okay and then i click okay so you can see the the entrepreneurship education variable has been created so in this particular case i like to show you what will happen if I want to run a bivariate correlation right now, and then I will simply knock this in, I will knock this out, I can knock this out and then use the other intention, okay? Uh, yeah, let's say I draw this up. Brilliant. So, so let us see what happens. So it's almost the same thing that I'm, I'm going to get. So, but what, what you might look at here is that what we might notice here is that intention has a very lower uh, mean value here and standard deviation. So if we come here so you can see the mean value is higher and then the, the standard deviation is also higher. Okay. And then if you come here, you will see that that's, that's basically nothing, uh, nothing actually changed. So the, the correlation, the, the correlation between uh, entrepreneurship education and entrepreneurial intention is 0 0.774. Let us see on the other one so you can see. It's also the same thing. Uh, the, the correlation between entrepreneurship education and intention is just 0 0.774. So, so this goes to show that, uh, you know, there are two ways you can just do that. But whatever happens, it is still, uh, it will still give you the same result, okay? And supposing I want to also run a regression analysis, I can go to uh, here uh, in a regression linear and um, let's say I want to put intention here and then put um, entrepreneurship education uh, in, the, in the independent variable box. Uh, let's say I also want to see how behavior and, and uh, attitude towards behavior and perceived behavioral control will predict entrepreneurial intention in this, in this particular case. All right. And so I will simply click OK. OK. So you can see that here, I also have, uh, yeah, so I have a very statistically significant um, um, result here. So you can see all of them are loading pretty well. Um, so the results are all statistically significant. So this is how you can do that. So you don't need to worry again um, how you can now convert, um, how you can convert the, the Likert scale um, rating scale here the ratings how do you now use this to now run a regression so so this is the magic right thank you let's keep doing good research so if you find this tutorial helpful please share to your students because students are often uh stopped at this stage when they get to this point they become worried okay so thank you so much